Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another crafty video. This is episode two of my March stamp set of the month series featuring the really high five stamp set by Lawn Fawn. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a two window reveal wheel card. Yeah. So I'm using the circle add-on and the really high five stamp set to make a card that has two windows where something new is revealed as you turn the reveal wheel. I'm very excited about it. So I would love it if you watch this video and you decide to take on this kind of card, the two window reveal wheel with any reveal wheel window. Um, if you would share that with me. So leave a comment below if you decide to do that. I would love to compile the pictures of the these projects and post them on my blog. So if you're interested in being featured on my blog, making a two window reveal wheel, let me know. Okay, so let's get started so I can show you how I made this card. Here we go. Let's take a look at all the fun reveal wheel things that I'll be using today. This is the reveal wheel circle add-on so I can make my reveal wheel have a circle opening. These are the reveal wheel circle add-on frames that have a balloon and a talk bubble. I'm also gonna be using the reveal wheel templates in the circle format. I'll be using the one with three openings. All right, so here's the actual reveal wheel die set. We're gonna die cut one of the frames just as it is, and then we'll die cut a second one with that circle reveal wheel add-on piece. The way I like to do it is by putting a piece of low-tack tape across the, bot or across the back of the die so it covers that opening, and then you can just drop in that little puzzle piece, and then it will die cut the circle you need for your reveal wheel just like that. There we have it. I am saving all the little circles that pop out from this reveal wheel. I also die cut these other two pieces from the reveal wheel die set from white cardstock that I'll be using later on in the project. I'm bringing in that template and putting it on the front of my card. This is gonna help me find the opening for my second reveal wheel window. So I'm lining up that die with the template with a piece of low-tack tape. I've held it down and then I can slip the template out. Then I'll um, make sure that's secured with a second piece of tape and run that through the die cut machine. Now I have my two windows. I'm gonna cut a third circle just because I need three of those circles in the end. And here you can see I have an impression in my paper. I'm just gonna use the end of my crease tool to burnish that out. Then I'm going to do some ink blending on this background. And I think it would have been much easier to do before I cut all the little window pieces out. So I recommend you do that, but sometimes you just get like in the groove of what you're doing, that order is the last thing on your mind. What I should do first, what I should do second. So learn from me. I like the method of teaching that is do as I say, not as I do, right? I, I'm sure it's a very effective method because look, I just kind of wrinkled my paper, but it's fine. So I just sprayed this background with some water and then I'm dabbing that up to reveal some oxidization of the inks, which is my favorite thing to do. And then I'm bringing in a stencil, the cloudy stencil that is new from Lawn Fawn and using the same color ink to create some clouds across this background. Now, this background is extra and at any point, <laughs> I could have stopped, but I had to do all the things. I love to create my own backgrounds. I love splatter. I love texture. I love layers. I love my cards to have all the things. So if you don't love that, if you love it more simple, do that. Do what makes you happy and what you love. Okay, speaking of extra, now I'm going to splatter this card front with the same color inks. So I'm putting that in my little splatter box. I'm gonna spritz all these inks with water. I found the perfect paintbrush to pick up this ink and splatter on, and I am adding some of each color. It was just so much fun. I enjoyed doing it, and I like that look because this is a sunset, I feel like those oxidization drops of water and color kind of give it the look of like Boken, 
like the floaty things in the air that only a camera can pick up, that type of thing. I am also adding some liquid stardust and my paintbrush had a little bit of yellow still in it. So I thought that was gonna be really cool for this so that the spotters weren't too um, stark white-ish. But now I have some sparkle on there and I think it turned out super cool. I didn't wanna waste this ink on here so I did some ink smooshing to pick all that up and I'll use that later for something but I thought I would show it to you. I would dry it, add more layers, spray it with water, add more layers, dry it, and that's what it ended up looking like. So if you have any cool challenges for me with that piece, let me know. Leave a comment below and give me a challenge. Now those little circles that I die cut, I'm going to ink them up using the same exact colors of Distress Oxide ink so that I can match them up in my reveal wheel. All right, so then I thought I needed to darken up the edges a little bit, so I'm coming back with those same colors. Seedless Preserves is the purple color, and then I have the Abandoned Coral is that orangish pink color, and then across the top is one of my favorite colors, Wild Honey. Maybe because I love Wild Honey? That's probably why, yeah. All right, so darken up the edges, and that will complete all the things that I'm gonna do to that background. Okay, so now for this reveal wheel, I'm putting a piece of window sheet on the back. I'm tracing it out so I can keep the adhesive right underneath it. I don't want any adhesive sticking out because I don't want my reveal wheel to catch on it. Now, why am I doing this? Well, I wanted my reveal wheel windows to have cute little faces, but if I were to stamp them right on the reveal wheel, when I change to that new second window, the face would be sideways. And that's not cute, that's not what we want. So I'm putting the window sheet there, I will stamp the cute little faces right on those windows. And then we can change the color of our balloons and the faces will be facing the right way. Speaking of the faces, I'm using this Reveal Wheel Circle Sentiments stamp set. And I'm using the little winking half smile face and the little sunglasses face. Now if you stamp this and it's not awesome, you can wipe it off. If you're using this black licorice ink or if you're using some um, black stays on ink, usually you can wipe it off right away or you can try some rubbing alcohol to get it off your window sheet and just give it a go again. So this ink from Fun Stamper's Journey is permanent on this plastic when it is heat set. So once I've stamped this so I like it and it's good, I'm just gonna run the heat gun over this very quickly so not to melt the plastic but just to dry the image. I'm bringing back in the template and that is lined up with the die cut reveal wheel. And I can use that as a guide to stick my little colored circles in and this will help line them up so they'll be where I want them to when I complete and put together my reveal wheel card. So I have those three colors and that just makes it a breeze to get them where you want them for any type of reveal wheel card. The templates are a must have. I'm gonna cut out the frame of the balloon with some pixie dust sparkle paper or glitter paper. And I'm just gonna start um, getting all the things together for the front of my card. So from the really high five stamp set, I am stamping the fox, the mouse, and two of the balloon tails. And here are the Copic markers that I will be coloring them with. I like to do simple coloring, especially on lawn fawn images. They're small. And so you can really get away with doing a small amount of coloring or a small amount of ink blending, really. That's what I mean. So two colors does the job really well. And this fox is adorable and goes with most of all the other fox images that Lawn Fawn has. So I so appreciate that, that you can mix and match your little critters from your other sets with their new sets, just like this mouse too. The mouse has been so popular with all their sets recently, so he can mix and match with all the other mice. I love that. So just some new, yeah, neutral grays for the mouse. And then I am using the N0 for the white spots and spaces on the fox and the mouse. So it has a little bit of shadow and then I have a pink for the mouse's nose and just really quick and simple and these critters look amazing. 
I did use the blender to soften the edges of that N0 that I colored the white space on. Now for the balloon tails, you just wanna scoot your die until you see it filled with black and then you know you're ready to die cut your balloon strings. I went ahead and glued those shimmery, glimmery, glittery balloon frames around my openings so they look more like balloons. And then I'm gluing the tails of the balloons so they're coming out and using my images to figure out where I want them to be angled. And then I can have their hand be right under that balloon tail. I am putting the little critters on with some foam squares to pop them up. I've got to have dimension on my cards. That's my thing. And then the mouse gets the little curly balloon. And then I will lift up the ends of those strings and put a little dot of glue and tack them down onto their hands so they're not going anywhere. Okay, time to put the reveal wheel together. So I've put the little disc into the back of the reveal wheel, put some adhesive on the back side, and then I'll just line the wheel up so that those circles show up in my balloon how I want, and then press this down so it sticks to the solid reveal wheel panel. So you can see I didn't quite get the bottom right corner of the reveal wheel panels lined up, but I will be able to fix that with a little trimming here in a second. So I put foam adhesive all around my reveal wheel without touching it. I'm gonna get that wheel turned just where I want it. That will help me line those up in the windows and I'll place this down so they line up. And you can see I have a little white uh, showing there at that bottom right corner. I can just snip that off. It's not gonna show later and any other parts that were a little bit off, I just trimmed off and it worked out fine. All right, so now we're going to create a sentiment for this card. I love how the balloons change colors. So both of these sentiments are from the Really High Five stamp set and it says flying by to say, have an uplifting day. So cute. So I've just embossed that with white on some black cardstock and then that will go at the top of my card. I'm gonna fit it right to the edge and it is tucked in behind that balloon a little bit just so it fits well on my card. So cute. All right, then we will go ahead and mount this onto some panels. This is a dark purple cardstock that measures four inches by five and a fourth. And then I have a lighter cardstock that goes well with the purple in my background. I die cut the little arrow from the reveal wheel stamp set and that will go right by the wheel so that the recipient knows to give that a turn. And then I'm gonna put this on an A2 size card base that is a light orange color that I feel went well with my ink blended background. And to jazz this up a little bit, I have some Nouveau Crystal Drops that I am adhering. I put three towards the top of the card and three towards the bottom. So that is your two window reveal wheel card. Do you think you would ever make one? If you do, I would love to feature your card on my blog. So leave a comment below if that's something you wanna do and I will make sure to connect with you and start collecting pictures of these cards and I will do a feature on my blog of all of our two window reveal wheel cards. Okay, that is it for me. Thank you for watching episode two. I'll put a link to episode one at the end of this video so you can check that out. Come back again next week for episode three. I'll have new ideas with this really high five stamp set for you. And of course, I will have other videos throughout the week as well. So feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so. I have new videos all the time and I love sharing them with you. All right, happy stamping. I will see you again very soon. Bye.